Hey, Steve Fox in York, the Guide Dog, back again with another video. And this time around, we're looking at customizing voiceover gestures on your iPhone. Really handy, especially if maybe you have trouble with one or more of the gestures, maybe trouble with your fingers, or maybe you'd just like to add some extra features to your iPhone that aren't there at the moment. So stand by, I'll show you how to do it in just a second. In the meantime, smash that like button. We'd love you to do that. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Steve Fox and York, the Guide Dog. But a quick word of caution before we start, before you jump right in and change the way all of your gestures work. Uh, yeah, maybe take it steady in the beginning. And possibly my advice would be to add some gestures that at the moment are unassigned and that way you won't change the way your iPhone works, at least in the early stages. Okay, because as soon as you change it, if somebody else wants to use your iPhone, it's gonna be very foreign to them. But there are plenty of gestures in there that aren't assigned that you can add that are really easy to do, and I'll show you how right now. Okay, today I'm gonna to run through how you can customize gestures on your iPhone. So gestures, they range from the very basic, which is touching the screen with one finger. Weather. That will double tap to open. identify an item, double tap with one finger to activate, usual stuff. So your iPhone comes with all sorts of gestures allocated to different commands, but there are some gestures that aren't allocated and you can customize those or you can change existing gestures as well. But I'm going to allocate a couple of gestures that aren't allocated on my iPhone. So the rotor, the rotor is a bit tricky for some people. Um, touch the screen with two fingers and twist or turn to run through the different rotor options. Characters, words, stocks, double oh. tap to open. As you can see there, my finger came off, so it stopped doing the rotor, but... Characters, words, speaking rate. So that's how you run through the different options. There are a lot on there, <laughs> and you can tangle yourself up into a bit of a knot trying to get through them all. So I'm going to show you an easier way to do it. So first thing that we need to do to customize gestures is go into voiceover settings. So, hey Siri, open voiceover settings. Let's take a look at the settings for voiceover. So settings. on the lists up near the top, it's a few examples. Verbosity, braille, button, audio, button, commands, button. I've swiped left to right down the list through the options and commands is the one that I want. So double tap. All commands, button. Uh, the next one, I, it's near the top of the list, so I'll swipe left to right. Touch gestures. Button. Touch gestures is the one that I'm after. Double tap. Tap one finger heading. Tap is one of the uh, one of the gestures. So if I run through. One finger single tap. Speak item. One finger double tap. Activate. Did. You get the idea. Now the gestures that aren't allocated that I'm going to use are the two finger swipe left or swipe right. So I'm going to just scroll or I'm going to flick up a page I'll swipe up with three fingers to scroll down nine to 23 of four, four finger triple tap so I'm towards the bottom of the uh, tapping so I'm going to get to the swipes shortly so I'm swiping from left to right four to finger quadruple tap swipe one finger heading running through the options one finger one finger one finger swipe up Pre one finger swipe down swipe two fingers heading okay so I mean the two finger swipe gestures two finger swipe left as you can hear there's no allocation for that two finger swipe right no allocation for that either so if i want to allocate a command to that i simply double tap with one finger cancel button then i've got the options commands search interaction activate secondary active magic tab so there are a lot of different commands available. Uh, to make it easy, I'm going to head back to the search field and look for rotor. Secondary activate interaction search search field. I'm in the search field, double, double tap, tap with edit. double tap with one finger to edit. Search field search field is editing search character mode insertion point at start. Two finger double tap and then I can dictate my search. Rotor Two finger search double tap rotor. to stop recording. Find the search button. Delete search. Double tap. Search next rotor. 
Okay, so these are the commands that I can allocate. And the one that I think I will allocate will be um, next rotor. Previous rotor, rotor, heading. Okay, that's the heading. Previous rotor, next rotor. I'm just swiping through the options. Next rotor is the one that I'm after. So double tap with one finger. Commands, back button. And that's it. That command is now allocated. So if I just jump out of there, Mail. I'm back to my regular screen. And if I put two fingers on the screen and twist, it's the old way of uh, accessing the rotor. Characters, words. All right. But now, if I prefer, I've added the additional gesture of the two finger swipe right. Speaking rep, container, headings, actions, characters, words, speaking rate. And there you go. It will run through the different options on my rotor. It's as easy as that allocating gestures to um, commands on your iPhone. So if you want to customize a gesture, that's how you do it. Give it a go. Good luck. And they're very easy to remove. If you decide you don't like it, you simply repeat the process. But when it comes to the, uh, the list of commands, you go all the way to the bottom of the list and there is a remove button. It's as simple as that. So there you go, that's customizing voiceover gestures on your iPhone. I may go back and add the two finger swipe left as the previous rotor, or maybe not. It works pretty well the way it is. I'm definitely gonna go in and change the two finger quadruple tap, which at the moment is unassigned, and I'm gonna make that next heading, which I think would be really handy. But have a look, find out what gestures aren't assigned, maybe find something that you'd like to do on your iPhone that you can't do it at the moment. Have a look around, see how you go. In the meantime, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Steve Fox and York the Guide Dog. Smash that like button as well, and we'll be seeing you in our next video. Thanks for watching.